What's going on guys? This is the Red Rogue and I hope you're all doing well today. I haven't done a week or, or add-on video in a while, but a common question I get is what I use for the circle that appears around my mouse cursor when I'm playing and why I do it. Personally, I lose track of my mouse way too easily when I'm in the middle of a key and while I don't need to click on that many things, it's still really handy for me to have a more obvious indicator of where my cursor is. So, without further ado, it is time for the newest episode of Wicked Week Auras, the series where I either go over a week aura or show you how to make a week aura so you can have some wicked stuff in your own UI. So, as you can see, I have a snazzy looking and completely over the top and unnecessary ship's wheel in a nice and vibrant green. When I enter combat with this dummy, the ring will turn to yellow, and when I leave combat, it will go back to green. This is a recent addition that I thought might be kind of funny and useful just in case I'm not paying attention and accidentally pull something or have some weird threat issue that just happens for no reason so I know when I'm in combat. For the basic version of this week or we're just going to make a plain old circle. But I'll show you how to add all custom textures to your week ors too while we're at it. Obviously you need the week ors add-on installed so I'll leave a link and a pinned comment to CurseForge so you can get that if you don't have it already. When you type forward slash WA into chat after installing Weak Auras, the Weak Aura UI menu will pop up. If you've never used this add-on before, then I highly recommend giving it a chance, because it's a little daunting at first, but you can track so many things in WoW that frankly it's one of the most powerful add-ons you can learn how to use. For this particular video, we're going to stay pretty basic though. At the top of the Weak Aura menu, you'll see a plus sign and the new Aura button. Click on that and a new menu should appear. On the right hand side, there will be an advanced section and you're going to click on the texture option. When you click on that, you're going to have this ugly looking pair of squigglies show up on your screen. There are a bunch of tabs near the top of the week or main UI, and you'll need to click on display. The first line of text is the texture, which is currently just set to Aura 3, which is just a class proc effect that the thing pulled up. If you were to close out of the week aura now, you would just have this dumb looking JPEG stuck on your screen forever, so we'll need to attach it to our mouse cursor, change its appearance, and maybe add some cool functionality to it. It's currently just named new in your week aura's inventory, so you can click on the text field and name it whatever you choose. For this video, I'm just going to name it mouse example, and pressing enter when I'm done will save the name choice. You can change the name later by right clicking on it and choosing the rename command. So first, we're going to make it into the shape we want, a circle. To do this, we'll go back to the display tab that I mentioned previously. At the top is the texture file name, and next to it is a folder icon. Click that to open the week or's menu for all available pre-installed texture options. There are a bunch of different tabs to choose from, with lots of icons and shapes to go through. For this video, we'll just be using the shapes tab and clicking on one of these empty circles. You can look through all the other options if you want, and some of them do look pretty cool, but for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to pick the ring underscore 20 px option. Now, this circle still isn't useful and will just stay on your screen in that one spot forever, so next we're going to connect it to our mouse cursor. To do this, you'll scroll down a bit on the display tab, and under the position settings, you'll see various options such as the width and height of the texture we've picked. Below that though is the anchored to option, and in here is where we'll pick mouse cursor. This will cause the circle to fixate perfectly around the clicking point of the mouse hand icon in-game. However, right now that circle is gigantic. To change that, we'll adjust the width and height options. This is personal preference and based on your UI scale and resolution and all that, so just find what looks right to you or what you want. For a 1080p resolution, I find around 70 width and height is fine. Next, unless you want it to just be a boring white circle, you'll want to add some color. Right below your texture file is the color box. Just click on that and a color wheel is going to pop up and you can choose whatever you want it to be. I personally prefer bright neon colors so that it stands out more and doesn't blend in with the background as easily, like green and yellow and magenta and things like that. Now, the last thing you'll want for the basics of this is to set the frame strata, which you can think of kind of like the layers in Photoshop or other graphic manipulation software. For this, you'll want to set it to high so that it shows up over the rest of your user interface. And that's really it for the basic version. You'll now have a nice colored circle that will let you know exactly where your mouse is that much easier so you can spot it in the middle of a raid or a Mythic Plus dungeon. For a little bit fancier of a feature, I'll show you how to make the circle change color when you enter combat. Open your weak aura interface again and make sure you have your mouse cursor aura selected. At the top, you'll click on the conditions tab, which should currently be empty. Click add condition. This can be used for all sorts of effects and works on an if-then style of coding. 
though you can also do if-else clauses as well in some cases. For now, we're going to keep it simple though. Under the if field, find the in-combat global condition. A new field will pop up with the boolean values of true or false as selectable options. We're going to select true because if you think of this in pseudocode or just thinking of it as a sentence, we want the program to know that if we are in combat and that is true, then we'll have it change the color of the weak aura, which will change the color of the circle. In the then tab, then you'll select the color option, which will give you another color wheel like before, and you'll choose whichever color you prefer. I like yellow for this because it's still a very vibrant color, and it lets me know to be cautious due to being in combat. We'll test this really quick with a little old turnip punching bag, and you'll see that my cursor is green while I'm out of combat, but as soon as I attack the turnip, it'll change to yellow. When I pop vanish, it'll go back to green because I've dropped combat. Lastly, for extra style points, I'll let you know how to make a custom shape texture for your mouse cursor. All of the textures you saw earlier are stored in a specific file directory within the weak auras add-on, and also happen to be .tga or targa files. This means you can open whichever graphic manipulation software you have, such as GIMP or Photoshop or whatever, and make your own. You can also just open one of the target files in the weak auras directory and tweak its style a bit if you want, but really the only requirement is that it's an image with a transparent background. I made my ship wheel at a texture resolution of 256 by 256 but I believe you can make it higher if you want more improved resolution or if your UI is at a larger resolution, and you'll be scaling this thing down anyways once you're in game to make it an appropriate size for your cursor effect. But yeah, this gives you a little way to add some custom flair to your user interface. Your texture folder is located within that weak wars add-on so you'll simply follow the directory of one of the textures you've already chosen for your marker to get to it more easily. You can even open up one of those target files in your graphic editor, mess around with it, and then save it as a different name so that way you can use it in your future weak ores without messing up the original one. However, from what I've seen, you need to manually type in the name of the image that you decided to make, as it won't show up in the graphical interface for weak ores if you're choosing a custom one from the regular icons. So do try to make it something that's easy to remember so you don't have to go into your files every time you want to use it. There might be a workaround to this to make custom weak aura textures show up in the UI, but frankly that's more effort that I'm willing to put in to just have a cool or funny cursor icon, despite this video being already way more involved than I expected it to be when I came up with the idea. If for some reason you folks want the ship wheel I made, or this other crosshair one I also came up with, I'll try to find a way to leave a download link for them in a comment or something like that. Either way, I hope this video helps give you some fun and interesting ideas for a way to make your own custom mouse cursor. There are so many features you can add to them via the Conditions tab, as well as cool visuals you can use, even if you just pick one of the other options already installed within WeCores. If this video was interesting to you or helpful, please consider leaving a like or maybe checking out the rest of the channel and subscribing. I cover all sorts of WoW stuff and enjoy doing add-on videos like this, so if you have any requests, then feel free to ask. I also stream over on my Twitch channel a few times a week, so feel free to stop in sometime. As always, my appreciation and gratitude to all of my viewers, and especially my patrons, who all help make these Sheba shenanigans possible. Thank you all so much for watching. This is the Red Rogue, and I'll see you guys around.